Our team coverage continues now with NBC's Tracy Potts in our nation's capital, where lawmakers still miles apart on a new relief package with unemployment aid set to run out tomorrow. Ben, good morning. Good morning, everyone. Two days left today and tomorrow to deal with unemployment. President Trump's offering a quick fix, but neither party likes that. And they've just learned that coronavirus has infected one of their own. Texas Republican Louis Gohmert, often seen without a mask, announced on Twitter that he tested positive for coronavirus. And participated in two hearings yesterday, largely without a mask. Very, very uh, irresponsible on his part. Masks will now be required in House offices and the chamber where lawmakers vote. The new rules come as a federal report shows 21 states in the red zone with cases rising. Florida and California report new records for deaths in one day. The nation just hit its highest daily death toll since May. And lawmakers have yet to agree on extending the $600 a week unemployment payment that expires tomorrow. The worst time to cut those benefits those extra benefits would be right now. President Trump is pitching a temporary fix. We want to take care of them now. The rest we can discuss later. But Democrats. This is not a serious proposal. And Republicans. That is completely, that's a completely unhinged position. Want a permanent solution. Some complain there's too much pork in the plan. Quit wasting money on things like Kennedy Center. Uh, the FBI building. Negotiations aren't going well. We want to extend UI. We are, we are apart at this point on how to do it. More meetings are happening today. Plus protection from evictions. That expired and it's still up in the air. A new analysis shows 40% of American renters might not be able to pay the rent and 12 million could be at risk of being evicted in the next four months. I'm Tracy Potts for Wake Up Charlotte.